Hello and welcome back to Azure Terraformer. Today we are going to actually be using our Azure DevOps uh, pipeline module. Um, in fact, we're going to be using the repo module specifically. Um, I want to build a central network uh, using a virtual WAN and a virtual hub. Um, and but I, I want to set up uh, an Azure DevOps project to manage my central network. So today, we're not actually going to deploy our central network. We're going to deploy the Azure DevOps uh, project and the Azure DevOps repo and all of that multi-stage pipeline so that we can use it next time when we actually set up our v VWAN and some virtual hubs. So I hope you're ready. Um, if, you're, if you're liking this series, please smash that like button. Also, consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps out a lot. And when you do, ring that bell so you know when my next video drops. So without further ado, let's get started. So I, because Azure DevOps, uh, I'm, I'm, I don't plan on actually using Terraform State. Um, I'm just going to be, you know, deploying this from, um, my, you know, just like a, a throwaway repo here. Uh, I'm going to check in this repo into my into the Azure Terraformer GitHub, so you guys will be able to have access to it. But um, we are going to just reference the module. Um, using, um, uh, using, uh, using the GitHub. So, um, I need to grab all this stuff. I think I'm going to use this as the starting point and I'm going to customize this to be, uh, to have the credentials that I want, um, for, for my environment. So I may, I may have different backends. I'm not sure. Um, my Azure DevOps project, I'm going to call this, uh, infra network and actually I probably need to go consult my Azure DevOps environment to see what what this should be called so I do have an infrastructure project already and inside here I've been kind of deploying some stuff so maybe I should just put in like an infra network in here and just drop my network as a repo so I think I think I'm actually going to use this existing project and I'm not going to provision a project, so that that's no problem. I just make this a data. I just make this a data source, and I'm going to be referencing my infrastructure project, and this is going to be infrastructure, and let's just like double check that because uh, I'm a little bit concerned about this. I want, I want this to be a data source. I mean, sometimes you just got to go RTFM, right? Am I right? So I want to go grab this project. Yeah, I just need the, I just need the name. So that, that's all that I need. Um, so this is my project. This is my infra project and it, it is a data source now. So I have to set the data and I did rename it infra. So there we go. Okay. So now the, um, the, the repo name is going to be uh, network, infra network, and my environments are going to look like that. The application name, actually, I think, I think I might make the application name the same as infra network, uh, which is kind of funny. Now this path is going to have to change. Yeah. And so here I'm just going to do it over HTTPS and I think that's all that I need. And so now I want to, um, the path that I want is going to be, uh, what is the path? I was just looking at it. So it's going to be repo slash multi-stage Terraform. So repo slash multi-stage Terraform. Okay, so let's, uh, before we get too carried away, let's just check this out, make sure this is happy. So I forgot my double slash. Um, so just like on Azure DevOps, um, once you get to the, re the repository, um, in order to access a folder within that repository, you have to have that double slash to denote the path within the repo. And I am pulling this tag, which I pushed a tag with the latest version of my, of my wares. 
And so now I really just need to get these credentials in there. So let's go look at my, uh, let's go look at the portal. And I want to see what subscription structure I want to use because I, I actually do have multiple subscriptions. So yeah, let's, let's just set this up proper. Now to update my TFRs, I'm sorry, to update my debug, I need to, to simplify this, I want the var file to just go, just automatically use the var file. So we're gonna use debug.tfrs. And then everything else should be picked up automatically. Um, so should not have that big of a problem. Now I should probably use my Let's just run plan. There we go. So right off the bat, it looks like this is working really good. Let's just double check some things. Um, we do have infra network and we are adding it to that project that I ID. I, I assume that project ID is good. Um, let's go. Yeah. So infra network. Yeah, I, I feel like this is uh, this is pretty good. Let's uh, let's jam on this and see what happens. Apply, auto, approve, and there we go. We're all done. Let's smash refresh and see if we can find it. Uh, we do have our infra network there with all the things. We have our pipelines here. Um, let's see, it, and we have a folder. We have a nice little neat little folder. And we've got dev in there. Let's run this pipeline. Now, I would expect, based on this pipeline, all we're going to do is create a resource group um, with the desired name, which is exactly where I want to be. Uh, because next episode, I'm going to add the VWAN and the virtual hub. So we should be in, uh, we should be in great shape. So let's go confirm that. And there we go. So we have, oh, food dev. Hmm, how'd, how'd that happen? Food dev. Did, did I leave some hard-coded things here? Infra network dev. This must be in, this must be like a default in the repo. Ooh, I'm gonna have to fix that. So the repo, I mean, it, it looks good. Oh, it's probably in the TFR files. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's my one, that's my one mistake. Like, I guess I'm going to have to update that to, uh, I, I guess I, I could probably remove that from the TFRs file, but this little foo here is, uh, jamming me up. Uh, but I think the pipeline, the pipeline probably takes it from yeah, it it's expecting it from the TFR file because I'm, I'm not setting any TF um, environment variables. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go update the TFR file. So that's one tiny little wrinkle. I'm not too keen on it, but the key name should be good. I think, I think it outputs the key name, so I should be able to see the key name. Uh, yeah, so the, the, the key name is correct, which is wonderful. Um, I just need to go update that TFRs file and we'll be rocking and rolling. So that's it for this episode. Um, if you like this content, like where we're going, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. Also, um, when you do, make sure you ring that bell so you know when the next video drops because next time 
we're going to be setting up our central network with a VWAN with a bunch of virtual hubs and rocking and rolling from there, probably setting up some site to site, probably setting up some firewalls, probably connecting it to some other services that we're going to be deploying later. Um, now that we can smash new, new uh, pipelines out there really fast with our Azure DevOps modules, um, I'm going to be I'm going to be moving a lot quicker um, and provisioning a lot more stuff because I don't have to go and manually configure all this stuff um, in in Azure DevOps anymore. So I'm pretty excited about that. Hope you are too. Um, hope you're enjoying the channel. That's it for me today. It's the Azure Terraformer here signing off.